Good morning. I'm the Moon Mama. How y'all doing today? Today is Tuesday, and Tuesday is a day governed by Mars, and Mars is currently at the 25th degree of Capricorn, um, conjunct Pluto. And this energy, Mars is the warrior, and Pluto is the destroyer. And so what this brings up is this internal war. It's an internal war that we see would play out in a different way if we weren't all sequestered. <laughs> but, you know, I was just overlooking reading some of the stuff going on in our government. And we are having a war. It is, it's not playing out like a physical revolution, but it there is an internal revolution going on. This is the makings of the revolution will not be televised. <laughs> like the inside experience of us going back and forth and being at odds with the old parts of ourselves. The parts of us that know that we have to, it's time for us to be different. It's time for us to make changes. It's time for us to do the thing that we've been putting off. The thing that we've been saying, oh, I'll get to that later. You know, maybe you have been really, um, Maybe you're in a relationship and the relationship isn't serving you any longer, but you're there for money or you're there because you don't want to be alone. You'd rather live with the monster that you're with than go be alone by yourself. Those are the kind of internal battles I'm talking about where you are um, settling and, and not giving yourself the permission to have the courage to step out of a reality that no longer works for you or serves you so that you can be who you're here to be. Maybe you have that going on with a job or a career, but right now it, it's all kind of coming undone. Um, so this energy is a very, it's a destructive energy and it's destructive intentionally so that you can get off your ass and do the thing that you're supposed to do. Do the thing that you're born to do. Do the thing that is required of you. Like pay your soul's rent, right? I always say that, you know, to be here, to be an earthling, you know, your rent is your service, the gift that you're here to bring. And if you have been working a job that is keeping you from really being who you're here to be or in a relationship that is not giving you the energy to flourish or to really fulfill yourself, a relationship that's sucking the life out of you, then you are reneging on your contract to the universe. And that means that you need to stop it and get yourself... Um, propel yourself forward. And so this energy is an energy that dissolves our old ways of being, like literally your structures coming undone beneath you where you no longer can hold that old way of being. It's just over with, it's done. And we see that happening and it's happening in a lot of ways. We see our government is totally, you know, energetically collapsing because they can't agree on anything. They can't make choices that are good for the people who might need more support. And so there's this opportunity to decide. Like I remember, oh gosh, a few years ago, I was, I was like, okay, what am I going to do? Am I going to go work a job so that I can make money and, and be miserable, but I'll have money? Or am I going to give myself the permission to jump off the cliff and fly and see if I either hit the ground or if I fly? And I was, it was a constant conversation in my head. And I finally just started saying, okay, God, I don't know how to do any of this. I don't know how to move myself out of one way of being and into another because my ego has me afraid and frightened. So I'm going to surrender to you and I'm going to ask for your help. I'm going to ask you to help me take the steps to make the choices, to do the things that I know I cannot do in and of myself. And I'm asking you to help me so that I can thrive, so that I can keep my contract to the universe. I want to keep my contract. I don't know how to do it, but I want to do it. And when I started praying that prayer and asking for that, when I tell you the universe showed up and showed out and the moon mama was developed, my classes started flourishing, I started seeing more clients, I started feeling better in my life, and all I was doing was noticing the fear and asking the universe to help me. 
And then I would ask, well, show me, give me a signal, give me a sign that I'm where I'm supposed to be. And I remember one time I was sitting and meditating at, at my window and I said, okay, give me a sign that what I'm saying is right or what I'm hearing is right and I want to see a hummingbird. And I opened my eyes and I reached for my phone because maybe somebody texted me and then I looked at my window and there was a hummingbird right at my window. And so when I started to realize, sort of to acknowledge that I was in a tough situation that I didn't know how to get myself out of, but I started acknowledging my higher self and saying, hey, I need your help. It showed up. The higher self, my higher self showed up. And I know that my higher self is no different than anybody else's higher self. I'm not special, anyone can do this. And so this is the time because the ground beneath us is falling away with this Mars in, with the Mars in Capricorn and the new moon in Aries. It requires, it's literally like an adventure, you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Like you've got to, like everything is falling down and you've got to find your way out. And the only way out is in. We no longer can look at the 3D reality, the outer experience, and think that it is going to save us. Only our internal realities can save us. The challenge is that most of us have not been doing the work to to connect to our internal selves. We are so focused on the outside. So the question becomes, how can you find the courage to be who you're born to be? How can you live the adventure that is your adventure for your soul to, um, to conquer, to conquest, to um, discover? And in doing so, if you ignite your relationship to your divine self, your God self, you will be carried, you will be supported, you will be lifted. And um, so I encourage you to use this new moon in Aries to set an intention to be who you're born to be and to clear the things that, that you're afraid of. Like if you are afraid to step away from something that is sucking the life out of you, ask for help. Ask your higher self to help you do so. Ask to see the path, that it be made clear. Um, if you feel that you want to be something and you're not sure how to be it, ask for support. You will be supported. You are not alone. You are not ever alone and have never been alone. If you are having things going on in your body that you're not sure how to deal with, ask the universe to bring you the herbs and the healing medicines to help you heal yourself. It will be delivered to you. You are not alone and you are being listened to right now. So if there's anything I can do to support you all, um, yesterday I did the full moon, the new moon meditation. If you'd like to um, get a, the link to that, I would be happy to send it to you. And for those of you who are who who love my support, I would love for you to give me donations. That just helps me stay afloat and do my work and be of support to you. And so you can give me donations at Venmo dollar sign Monique hyphen Ruffin dot com. Um, or at Cash App, dollar sign Monique Ruffin, or at PayPal, which is um, Monique C. Ruffin at gmail.com. Um, and that is it. So I am um, I'm here to support you. I'm sending prayers and love and energy out for all of our well-being and for the new path to be revealed so that we can be who we're born to be. Peace and blessings, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.